Hello everybody, welcome to the next installment of the Grand Fretboard Experiment. The experiment where we're taking colors, applying them to music theory, reading music, and visualizing them on the guitar. Really fun. If you're not familiar yet, go ahead and check out the card up here. You can click it up in the corner and there will be a link to the playlist so you can start at the beginning. There will also be a link down there in the description. In this lesson, I'm going to quiz you on the five octave shapes that we took a look at. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to run you through some exercises and then I'm going to ask you to find all kinds of notes. By the end of this video, I hope that your brain will feel a little tired from thinking through all this stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start by cycling through each octave shape and I'm going to tell you to pick out different notes using each shape. So just to review, let's start with just C and then we're going to move into a more random order so that this can actually be quiz. So if you'll recall we have octave shape number one, octave shape number two, octave shape number three which includes three notes, octave shape number four which also includes three notes, and we have octave shape number five. So, ooh, it looks like my guitar is maybe a little out of tune. So, octave shape one through five. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to identify a note on a string, and then I'm going to ask you to identify all of the octaves that you can have with that note. So, let's start with finding the note D sharp on our A string. I'm going to give you a couple moments to find it. Pause the video if you need to. We have D sharp here on the sixth fret of our A string. Now, we can use octave shape one for that D sharp, or octave shape two for that D sharp. You'll notice we'll have two shapes per note that we look for um, because each shape is connected with the next. All right. What I'd like you to do is find the note D sharp on your D string this time and show me the octave shapes that you can use to get around your fretboard. I'm going to give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, D sharp, we're going to find on the first fret of our D string. D sharp being a half step above D. And in order to find the octaves for D sharp, we're going to first use octave shape number five. And then after that, we can use octave shape number one to get to that other D sharp. All right, let's stop for a moment. I'd like you to find the note F sharp on your A string and use that note to find two different octaves. Okay, F sharp is found here and if this is too quick for you, pause the video after I ask you the question and take your time finding it. It's all about accuracy, not speed. So we have F sharp here. We can use our first shape to grab F sharp on the B string and we can also use shape number two. Let's do the same exercise with the note B on our low E string. Take a few moments to find it, and then using that note, we're going to find the shapes. Okay, B is on our seventh fret. I kind of gave that one away ahead of time. And we're going to find our octave, of course, this is two octaves from low E to high E, that string, but we're always going to have the same note on both of those strings, so we may as well locate them both. And we're going to use this shape here, 
shape number three, and shape number four. So we have shape number three, gets us that fourth fret on the G string. Then shape number four is gonna get us the ninth fret of the D string. Okay, speaking of D string, I'd like you to find the note A flat on your D string. Take a moment. Okay, A flat. Now, if we use the fifth shape, we can get our A flat there on the B string. What other shape can we use here? Well, we can also use the fourth shape so that we get our A flats on the low and high E string. Okay, let's find the note G sharp on your high E string. Okay, G sharp on the high E is on our fourth fret. Again, pause the video to take the time to find these. Remember, E, A, D, G, B, E, and then you go up in half steps to find your note using either the sharp or the flat alphabet. So we have G sharp there at the fourth fret. So if we want also G sharp here on the low E, because remember, we're always pairing those up. And we can also get the third shape here. And our fourth shape. Okay. Now, Let's find the note D flat on the B string. Take a moment. Okay, D flat. We're gonna find that right here on the second fret. And we can use our first octave shape to get us the D flat there on the A. We can also move that here. So we've got D flat and D flat. Now being able to find these shapes is very important because we're going to fill them up with music. Think of these shapes as our bucket and we're going to use the shapes that we learn about in this piece of, uh, not this piece, I'm also used to saying piece as a classical guitar player in this exercise so that we can then fill that bucket up with really good music. Okay, take a moment to find the note C on your low E string. Okay. C is on our 8th fret. We can also use the 3rd shape to get our C on the G string there on the 5th fret. And then our 4th shape. Okay. Next, let's find the note B flat on our G string. Take a few moments and pause the video if you need to. All right, B flat on the G is gonna be our third fret. So we can use shape two to get B flat on the A, or shape three here. Now, members of musicandguitarlessons.com have an awesome set of flashcards up in the, the, the unit area where you can get quizzed on all of the notes in the chromatic scale, where they are, and essentially have to, to define which shapes you're using to get there. Now this is running at about nine minutes and I don't like to make too many videos longer than 10. So, by all means, watch this video again to run through your octaves and be quizzed on them. And musicandguitarlessons.com members use the flashcards so that you really get these down. And as you get them down, you're going to be able to find all kinds of other things based off of them. But I cannot stress enough knowing the octaves of your fretboard because they will allow you to see much more intricate shapes in an outline, which is very, very powerful. You'll see a lot of similar things in the cage system. This is essentially a colorful adaptation of that. So. Take the time to really get this down. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about the major scale between all of the octave shapes. Until then, have fun, happy practice, 
do not forget to subscribe or check out the next video. See you, everyone. Definitely do not forget to subscribe and like this video.